Hey there. I want to ask you a question to think about. When is the last time somebody invited you to go somewhere with them or do something with them? Maybe even read a book with them, go to a restaurant with them, go to a movie, whatever. When's the last time somebody invited you to do something with them? And I want you to think about that because there's some important things to learn out of that. And the first thing is when somebody invites you and goes out of their way to invite you to do something with them or be a part of something with them, it tells you that you matter to them to some degree, that you're on their radar, that they care to some degree about you and that they would choose to be with you. And so that's an important thing. And the second thing it tells you is that they value whatever they're inviting you to be a part of. It could be a dinner at their home. It could be to participate in reading a book with them. It could be going to a restaurant. It could be anything. But whatever they're inviting you to matters to them. So it is two bookends there, right? It says that you matter. Whoever's being invited matters and that what they're being invited to matters. And there's inherent value in both of those things. And so here's, here's the challenge, is that I wanna ask you at Covenant Baptist Church to begin inviting people to church. It, it just take the chance to invite somebody, anybody, it doesn't really matter who, but take the, take the chance and invite somebody because just by inviting them, you're telling them they matter to you and your church matters to you. And you would like to see those two things collide. And so think about this. Barna does research. George Barna has done a lot of research that says that most people, and I forgot the exact statistic, but it's well over 50%. Most people will attend church if invited by a friend. Uh, so it goes down a little bit if it's a perfect stranger, but relationships in that do factor in. But most people, when invited by a friend, will attend church. Now, Covenant, the folks here have given us a great, great asset. And that is, if somebody comes to Covenant, they're going to feel cared about. If somebody experiences this group of people, they experience something that's pretty unique and pretty special. And, and not only that, do they experience the Jesus that's in you? And that's even more unique and even more special. So church, I want to challenge you in these really rough times when people have been isolated for months and months from COVID. And they're so used to screens and so used to virtual this and virtual that. Invite people back. It could be members of our congregation already. And that, that's a good thing to invite too. But invite people who aren't connected. Find people outside of our circle of fellowship and ask them. Say, hey, our church has a service at 1045 on Sunday mornings and we'd love for you to be a part of it. I'll meet you at the door. If you need me to, I can pick you up. Invite them not only to attend, but to attend with you. Let's see how it goes. Hey, there's something special going right here at this church, in this church family. God's alive and active and doing some amazing things in people's lives. And I want as many people to be a part of that as possible. And one of the best things we can do is to simply invite others to join us. God bless you. Let's keep doing life together with God so we can bless the world around us.